fun. Come on, the camera recording. Let's start our YouTube channel. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Um, so, um, we just decided it's it's Saturday morning, and we just decided to um, answer a few of the questions that um, that uh, I recently got on. Huh, on camera, camera. And I recently got on Instagram. So um, I am Nick. Uh, my Instagram is V8 Manual 955, referring to the car that we are sleeping in. It's a 2004 Porsche Cayenne with orange bumpers. And this is Carol, my, uh, how to say in English, partner in crime. Um, and she's Carol Dog Education. Mm -hmm. She is um, the person that I tag on every photo and um, that uh, I carry the sticker on the side of my car. So um, the account started actually just for this car because um, yeah, as, as most of you guys know, um, I'm pretty sure that the guys watching me know are uh, <laughs> The guys I'm chatting about Porsche Cayenne's on on Instagram. So uh, you know my car, you know how it started. It's a manual gearbox V8 with a oh with a grenade shifter. Um, I absolutely love it, and uh, it was never planned that I'm I'm starting to live in it. Um, that that sounds like I'm I'm gonna <laughs> repeat um, Harrison. Uh, I'm not. Hey Harrison, by the way, we chatted a few times on Instagram as well. Um, now th this is not the plan. So actually, we just come from a really nice property that that we had in August. It's a huge. It was it was a huge property, an abandoned factory, right next to the river. Uh, we agreed with the owner to live there, and we were going to build up a business for dog education, and everything was fine until um, it happened that a few big storms they damaged this property uh, further but this property was from the what from the from 50s 60s from 50s 60s, 50s, 60s. Uh, i've heard it was like at the very beginning it was an old factory to produce um, car parts and then it was some kind of cheese farm and obviously, like every building in the 50s, it's full of um, asbestos, amianto in Italian. So the roofs, uh, the tiles, and uh, the basically everywhere. And um, a lot of trees and falling down pieces have damaged these roofs. So this place has been declared not livable. Um, so this guy, the owner that, that uh, let us live there and was going to fix everything and was going to give us a contract. Right after we finished to move in, he told us, no, we have to get out. And it was middle of the August. And in Italy, August means everything is closed. In fact, I was not working. Um, the agencies that uh, rent houses, they are not working. There weren't even houses to rent, so... And there weren't even houses, so uh, when we say houses, we actually need um, space. So we, we can't just live in an apartment, we get, we get four, four cars and four dogs. Yeah, four cars and four <laughs> dogs, which is another, yeah, this is going too deep now. It is another agreement that we have because uh, we started with one car and one dog. And um, both cars and dogs are our things, but we agreed that... Uh, uh, one new dog means one new car we for me. We have the same numbers of cars as we have the same numbers of dogs. Exactly. So, um, t tell them where we are now and why we're here. So we are in a forest in Italy, in the north uh, of Italy. Um, this forest is of my, of my dad. It's my dad's property. He bought it one year ago. And... So basically in this forest is just one little mountain house, like it's this kind of stone mountain houses that really doesn't have anything inside, it's just stones all together <laughs> to make up the house. 
uh, so you can't really live in it. Uh, it's nice to have because there's a little shelter, but you can't really live properly in it. So currently there are two of our dogs sleeping inside and the other two dogs are sleeping in my other car. A Mitsubishi Pajero, uh, which you were, um, you will see later. Um, so yeah, we had to kind of find a way to live in the forest without having a proper shelter because we can't live in this this house. It's too small and doesn't have water, electricity, anything. So yeah, we we decided that. I mean, we we had to. We we didn't have choice to come here, uh, but now it's starting to be kind of coolish, <laughs> like coolish and foolish. Coolish and foolish because <laughs> I don't know. We are kind of strange people. Um, so for for our kind of lifestyle, this this kind of forest outdoor and not having proper things it's kind of working also because anyway we get to um we kind of have to um train ourselves yeah, I'm, knife in I'm, your holding, I'm holding the knife because otherwise it goes in, in front of the camera so we have to train to do this kind of things uh, in future our our idea in the future is to buy properties around the world and make up a business out of it and try to to be off grid i mean this is our our vision so th this this situation is definitely something that um we're pursuing yeah the future. that will help us also to kind of know how to organize know how to to build stuff and how do we do without water and electricity and solar panels and this kind of things um so yeah these are, in fact, these are exactly the questions that arrived to me yeah. uh, on some, from some of you guys on Instagram. We are trying to figure it out and, as well. Um, <laughs> also, my, my <coughs> colleagues, uh, because I got a, um, how to say, nine, nine to five. It's not really nine to five, but I got a, a job where I go um, most of the time in the office. Sometimes, periodically, I work in smart, smart working. And obviously my colleagues are asking, oh, okay, why, why do you smell like campfire today? <laughs> and why do you have dirt on your fingers? And um, so we're gonna explain, we're gonna explain all of that. We're gonna um, show also how we managed to get a first uh, setup here. So um, we literally just woke up. Yeah. Um, I said, come on, let's, let's go start the video before we go on toilet. Um, so. Toilet. Um, toilet. So I have to go pee. You, you have to go pee pee. And um, we're going to exit the car. Yeah, now maybe if you get out of the car, mm -hmm. you can open me the hatch. Because um, I haven't figured out in one year ownership of this car how to open the rear hatch of a Porsche Cayenne first generation from the inside. So if one of you guys can tell me, I used to sleep in my... Um, in my Golf 5 GTI before, as, a, as fun as camping, and it has a hole in the in the inside, so I could open it. So. There you can take one. This is King Max. We call him King Max because obviously he's the king. And this is Loki. <laughs> He doesn't have any royal status yet, but he's growing in our family. Yeah, and they are super happy every morning again to see us. Every morning, there's not a single morning that they are not happy to see us. So these are the big boys. And they sleep inside there because they are uh, older than the other two. I don't want that, uh, like we, we got a puppy one month ago um so he's kind of annoying for the big boys so that's why we divided so <laughs> let's show for a second your car yeah by the way older means max should be around 10, 10 years, years more or less. we don't know exactly because all of our dogs are adopted so max comes from the streets of south italy uh we got him when he was what eight years he old seven. seven about seven it was just a guess by the vet um 
he was overweight he had a, a big tumor on his leg and he wouldn't really move well um, because of his overweight he had some bone problems so we did an intense um, kind of physiotherapy with him the the tumor has been cut away fortunately it didn't come back we changed his diet um, and these are these are all things if you're into dogs uh, Carol is gonna make some detailed videos about all <laughs> our boys how they come together and how um, how we made it work that we get four different um, shelter dogs that are males uh, living together like brothers it's fantastic I mean you, you're gonna see more of that so let's have a look at the Pajero it's a v60 generation so model year 2000 which is the same model year as Carol, by the way. So the car is exactly as yeah, old as you. Yeah, same age. As, as, uh, well, the car is old. You are young, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, it got huge space. So there's even the rear bench folded up. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I mean, the, the idea, honestly, is to um, remove the seats anyway, because I'm not going to use them. Um, so remove the seats and make more space both for us and for the boys and to kind of create a storage under the mattress of the boys um, my dream will be to have a roof tent as well so even if uh, uh, me and nick we want to camp some somewhere now we have to currently we have to use both of our cars because this for the boys and the other one for for us to sleep in and to live uh, but if for whatever reason we just want to use one car it will be nice to have the roof done for us and the boys sleep inside so i mean there are a lot of things to do on, the, on this car but it's definitely in good condition and yes we we found the car i think it was a kind of a garage queen it never towed uh it had very few rust um which fortunately on the v60 generation is already much better than on the v20 my dad knows that i know that because we had a v20 bajero in the past um it was beautiful it was dark red long wheelbase v6 uh, petrol manual gearbox this one is not a v6 it's a 3.2 liter four cylinder diesel uh it, it's an amazing engine i mean it's probably the most bulletproof engine you can buy um not the diesel fan but this engine is just full of torque and it just runs and it's just going like new <laughs> so um i see i hear and maybe you hear as well the other dogs left the house so this is whoa whoa, whoa. hey robin and robin too so these are the, the two younger ones robin the first one the black and white one He's about four years old, hunting dog mix. Uh, we believe it's kind of a Munster and oh, Collie. Still has to learn. And this is the new one. This He's is a the new shepherd. one. It's called Sasha. We're going to go into detail there as well. He made already great progress. Um, he socialized amazingly well with our boys. Um, especially with Robin, who didn't like him at the beginning. Now they act like brothers. Uh, you're gonna see videos of that, but um, first of all, uh, we are going to use the bathroom, and um, then we are going to set up coffee. Here's uh, looks looks a bit ugly, but this is actually fresh drinking water. Just this water that is coming out of there. Uh, further down the street, there's one of these uh, fontanellas. It's called in Italy. Uh, it's a drinking fountain. Um, they are perfectly fresh water so we got kind of fresh water it's not really running we have to check why it's not really running hey Robin say hello to them okay Rob wait wait a sec wait a sec wait a sec yes you want to say hello but say Robo oh yeah you're happy so Robin when he's excited he can barely hold himself <laughs> he'll be feeping around though you will see other moments of him He's super calm and uh, and, um, and and I don't know, almost like kind of uh, majestic. He can he can look and walk like an elegant horse. Oh, there you go, little one. Hey, Sasha. 
Hey, Sasha. Hey, boys. Huh? I started the video like this, so now I finish it like this. All right. Um, I guess the other part of the first we're gonna show uh, some other time because now we go on toilet. It, huh? You can cut it. Ah, Switch okay. It. I can cut it. Yeah. So this is how every morning starts uh, for both of us, for all of you probably, or for most of you, uh, or how it would start if you live in a forest. A shovel, a hole. And the most important part, biodegradable um, wet tissues without microplastics. So there's no need to explain why uh, it has to be biodegradable. Of course, we don't want to cause any damage. We, uh, we dig holes and we put massive rocks on top of them. So fortunately, this forest is full of massive rocks. That means uh, everything that we leave below has plenty of time to, to how to say, to decompose state, well, to, to get back to earth. Um, I probably save you this part and switch off the camera for a second because I'm not done yet. <laughs> See you later. All right, I'm done, uh, ready. Don't need to shovel no more. We need another hand. This next part is on the way back, picking up firewood. So we always have some dry firewood. And this is, I'm not doing gym anymore since I'm here, but I, I know why it's still working because I'm continuously grabbing big chunks of wood and trying to balance them back. Because what I haven't mentioned yet, he said this forest is very steep it's it's even quite high i don't know what altitude we're at but um uh, when when down in the city it's warm and hot here you find always a nicer climate um it's a bit difficult to walk sometimes but there's some trails here you don't really see it on the camera anyway um so I found this big chunk of dead wood. Let me see if I can show it to you. It's really long. This will be good for today, tomorrow, until tomorrow morning at least. It will be good to make fire, to prepare coffee, tea, and to cook some food. You cook everything on the fire, it works amazingly well. It's so much, so much faster and at home and to get a good fire barrel it's pulling up plenty of heat yeah ah, carol told me to to hold the camera like this ah, sorry I'm, I'm new to that so uh yeah walking all this way and over there is the camp so see you over there because i'm breaking down here Okay. <laughs> he's starting a fire, we need to split it because we can't just tie up these big logs. We need yeah. a little. Uh, you explain it. Eh? I have to watch my fingers. Yeah, watch your fingers. Okay, so. Um, <coughs> so eventually, when we go around the property, um, either me with the dogs or. Nick for going to the bathroom. Anyway, every time that we go around here, like up, down, it's all property. And in the next videos, <clears throat> you're going to see more property. Um, we try to take like pieces of wood to burn or this huge one as, as we found this morning. Cut them all, put them in the box there close to the fire so that the wood can uh, dry out a little bit at least um, so that then in the morning and in the evening we are ready to switch on the fire so yesterday we burned all the wood so we didn't have it this morning <laughs> that's why we i mean nick is uh is cutting it now <coughs> is 
Dasha, come. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. What? This is the last one. <laughs> it makes life so much easier. Uh, how do you call them? These little petroleum cubes. Yeah. So either we use that, or um, in this in yeah in this forest there are a lot of these trees with the white uh, skin. What's the what's the name? Birch. 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 <coughs> yes, okay. <Enjoy. coughs> this one. <coughs> they, usually, they burn a lot. Let's see if it's wet. I think this. Uh, this one is wet, but there are some bits of. They have yeah. They have a lot of natural oils inside, so you can see it a bit. Uh, close up. Yeah. So these ones have a lot of natural oils inside, so they are burning like tinder. Like, uh, it's actually the name of the stuff, right? Tinder. Tinder. Like the, is it? Like the program that we met with. <laughs> we didn't uh -oh. meet. No, we did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, four years ago, by the way. So it works. Okay, let's try with that. Use tinder. Let's try with that. I I don't use the petroleum cube. Yeah. But. But anyway, in the forest, we are full of these kind of uh, trees. So every, anytime we don't have these uh, petroleum cubes, uh, we just go around and try to to take a bit of it and use it. <coughs> yeah, it's just still everything humid, like typical in a, in a wet forest in the morning. There's not a lot of oxygen down there, so I'm using the petroleum cube now to speed things up. Yesterday evening was more humid and I didn't use it, so just saying. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Camera, <laughs> you know. Wanted the camera. So. These are all old barrels and stuff that we <coughs> found on the property, unfortunately. Uh, it's quite common to find trash, uh, like what to say, trash, uh, old, old metal structures and whatever in the woods uh, that people abandoned here 10, 20, 40 years ago, now all rusty. And we try to clean up as much as we can and use as much as we can. So we have over there this big pile of, of chunk of whatever that we put there because we, we're planning to use it. I mean, rust is a beautiful color, I believe. Um, so not on cars. <laughs> oh, not on the cars. <laughs> not you, on the cars. You remind me on something. <laughs> no, no, no. But so, yeah, generally we try to use what we find. Um. So I think the fire is picking up. I have to be very gentle now, adding stuff so we don't suffocate it. Uh, I don't know if I'm. Do you hear me on camera like this? Yeah, yeah, you hear. Yeah. yeah. Um, Problem with what we did here, it's a barrel with an old kitchen plate, an old cooking plate on top, come a bit closer. So if I put, uh, and fire expert, tell me if I'm wrong, if I put too much wood in now, the, um, the fire burns the oxygen and doesn't get enough oxygen from below. So I figure out even if I have dry wood and I, s I don't give the, the fire time, uh, it would just go off because it doesn't get oxygen from below. Um, so we are still figuring out how to improve this uh, this stove, but for today it seems like it's working. So in a couple of minutes we're gonna have boiling water and uh, fresh filter coffee. Yes, because we we live in Italy, but we drink um, German or American filter coffee. <laughs> So it's just, I've just been attacked by a little thief. Sasha, what do you want? What do you want? You want food? No, you want kisses. You want kisses. Yeah, he's a lovely little puppy. I mean, it's, it's crazy how somebody can abandon him or mistreat him or whatever. I'm really glad we got him. He's best friends with Robin now. How can I change the camera?
Okay, still waiting for the... Hot! 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 I'm trying to make video with the violent cuddling monster. No? Little Sasha. Don't Beautiful dog, huh? Beautiful wheels in the background. Let me focus on my wheels, can I? Great. Oh, yeah. And still some Cayenne guys watching, hopefully. I know, I know. <laughs> what was that? It's so annoying. Oh, but then the he's other... always talking about that. This, yeah, because so this annoying. fucker didn't grow up with the Cayenne. The other boys, they love the Cayenne because they know it's more silent than the diesel of the Pajero. Well, it was more silent. <laughs> it's not anymore since I removed the exhaust. Oh, I'm looking forward to start it up. This car is just so violent. And I have to say, I'm enjoying a lot to sleep inside it. It's really comfy. Honestly, it's comfy and cozy and yeah. feels, it feels, feels safe. It's nice. Yeah, well, it's a German luxury car. Of course, it's safe. Um, obvi obviously, we have a mattress inside. This is not just it's not just a plain surface. So uh, my Cayenne doesn't have anything inside the rear uh, in terms of seats or so. I, I totally removed them. I didn't fold them down. And then there are a bunch of tools. On top of the tools, there are kind of cardboard covers to make it a get even surface again. And then we have a, a proper foam mattress. Uh, that in width is about one meter twenty, um, and on the shoulders uh, we, we sleep with a hat in uh, towards the front. So where the doors are, it's opening up a bit. So we are really comfy in this car. On top of that, I got these window vents here. I'm doing a great job and keeping some of the um, some of the humidity <coughs> out. Without getting squirrels inside. Um, squirrels. Yeah, there's a squirrel. No. Squirrel. There, there's a squirrels. It's just one. Ah, uh, yeah, it's just one very angry squirrel that used to live here in this house, and every night it comes and complains about. Because um, we are around. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. The yeah, dogs yeah. are inside the house. And the dogs are inside the house, so whatever. Yeah, that's the problems you deal with in a forest. Like you don't, you don't have angry neighbors. You have angry squirrels. <coughs> this out of focus should focus on you. You're so much better looking. And look at that girl. This is zero makeup right out of the Cayenne, right out of the bed. Mm. Mm. Love moment. And coffee moment. Coffee we're moment. waiting so long for this one. What are you doing? Making filtered coffee with Italian coffee. La Roma del Caffè. We are not sponsored at all. Eh? Don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the Whatever. cheapest coffee that I could find. Oh, I would love to be sponsored by the cheapest coffee. This would be amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, um, for coffee, we either use French, uh, the French press, uh, or filtered coffee, but it's different. I mean, I don't know which one I prefer. Yeah, I really prefer the filter coffee. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, my my dad just gave us a a half year supply of coffee filters, so we're ready to go. In Italy, you can't buy them. The Max is sleeping. The Max is not sleeping. The Max is relaxing because he's the Zen dog. just beautiful here I mean we're morning the Sun is coming we don't we don't get it right in our faces we get it all the way around the back and the forest is just just steep enough to have the Sun going all the way over there so it's always kind of shining through the trees even in winter yeah I mean summer Shadow. It's never really super hot 
and in Italy in summer it's horrible to be. Um, but I mean also in winter it's not that bad. Um, unfortunately in winter there's just like, I think it's until lunchtime that there is the sun and then it doesn't hit here anymore as, as far as I remember. I mean we just we just had one winter here. Yeah, well, one winter uh, we didn't have it living here. No, we had we it. We live here. Uh, I mean, we, we went. Uh, we went here sometimes, but we didn't live here. Sasha, stop to steal lemons. Yeah, well, if you steal them, at least eat them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Try to eat it. So what are you going to do with it, huh? What if daddy steals it again? Can I steal the lemon? No, Can I steal the lemon? Where's the lemon? It's gone. Don't steal daddy's lemons, huh? Yeah, Loki becomes a bit scary in the last days. I think he's a bit frustrated about the puppy. I don't know. I could just lay there and chew his octopus. So I think this octopus is going to have an accident, Loki. It's gonna be gone. I take it. I take it. Oh, I don't take it. I don't take it. I will try another time. Maybe I need the help of a thief. Sasha. Sasha. Are you a good thief? Are you a good thief? He likes this. Yes. I'm the best thief because I steal his horn. <laughs> okay, so that was our morning routine on, on Saturday. Uh, if you have some questions about our lifestyle here, just leave it in the comments below. And we're gonna try to blog more about our lifestyle here, how we manage everything, how we improve, because we're here since like two weeks just. So we have a lot of things to improve. And yeah. Loki, <laughs> you're on the camera. Looking forward to winter. Bye guys, see you on Instagram.